If you're a guest on somebody's live stream and they're using Ecamm Live software, in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly what buttons to press so that you get the best quality and the best connection possible for a great interview. And you do not even need any tech knowledge or whatsoever. It's gonna be super simple for you. And if you are a live stream host, then go ahead and send this video to your guests so that you don't have to teach them what they need to do. If you're new around here, please do type new in the comments. I would love, love, love to meet you. And if you are new, then you don't know me. Hi, I'm Larry Petrucci from Live Streaming Pros, where we help you create professional live video that's uniquely you. So let's get down to business. If you're a guest on somebody's show, then the host of that show will be sending you a link that looks somewhat like this. Now, it is best not to get this link via Facebook Messenger because Facebook Messenger actually does some weird stuff and doesn't allow you to open it in Chrome or Firefox or Safari. It's within their own little ecosystem. So best to get it through email or another solution. So when you click the link, what it's gonna do is open up a Chrome browser or again, Firefox, Safari, et cetera, et cetera. So you want to click allow definitely, otherwise it won't be able to see your camera and mic. Now, this is uh, kind of using the Facebook HD camera over here on my iMac, which we do not want. So you wanna choose the best camera you have available to you. If you're using a capture card and you're bringing in a pro camera, then all the better. But if the, all you have is your HD camera, your FaceTime camera, then that's okay too. Just choose the best quality option that you have. And then of course, make sure you choose the best audio device you have, whether that's a USB mic or something like what I have, which is a Scarlett device. If you don't know what that is, do not worry about it. All right, so then you're going to type your name. Now your name may or may not be seen on the live stream, depending on how the interviewer is running their show. There are a couple of different options. So you wanna make sure that you type in something that's good for public. Okay, so now you've done this setup and that's really all you need. Now you just click join. Okay, so now we're waiting on the interviewer to add us to the production. Uh, while we wait, there are a few things that you can do and don't worry if they add you immediately, all of this will still be available to you. So in here, you'll see that your video is available and you can mute yourself and, uh, na, 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 and unmute yourself. And that will make sure that the uh, audience or that the interviewer do, doesn't hear you. So let's say you have to cough or something big happens noise wise in your space. Uh, it's a good idea to just go ahead and uh, mute yourself, keep yourself on mute. When you're not in direct conversation, uh, like let's say the interviewer is actually presenting the intro to the audience. I always mute myself just for safety sake so that it's not like awkward. They hear somebody like fiddling with water in the background. <laughs> so just a little pro tip for you there. But also speaking of pro tips, make sure you wear headphones. That way you are not getting any feedback through the system. Now Ecamm Live gives you some capabilities of removing that through echo cancellation. However, just to be safe, you wanna wear headphones to make sure that you're offering your interviewer the best possible experience as well as the viewers. So I have a link in the description to headphones that I recommend that are almost invisible to the viewer. And they are comfortable and they're easy and they're cheap. So go get those. Also in your interface, you'll see this comments box right here. This is a toggle switch and it will open up comments. So it's not there all the time, just in case maybe you're recording instead of live. Uh, but once you're live, you'll see comments populate here so that you can keep up with the conversation going on uh, out there where you're streaming to. With this gear icon, anything you need to change audio or camera wise will be right here. So you can always 
always open that box. And this one makes a lot of people happy. You've got light and dark mode. <laughs> I'm not a big dark mode person, but if you are, then there you go. You will be happy. I'm gonna go back into light mode because that makes me happy. <laughs> All right, now it's time to be brought in by the interviewer. Okay, a bit of a switch up on you. Abby is now taking the guest spot, AKA your spot. So as you're coming into this production, you are the guest, AKA Abby. Just keep that in mind. Okay, <laughs> so now the host has added you into the production, but you are still in the green room and it notifies you of that. It tells you when you're in the green room or when you're live in the production. So this means that you will be able to hear the host. However, the host will not be able to hear you. Uh, the audience also will not be able to hear you. So just keep that in mind. If you're in the green room, nothing, no audio from you is going out. You can mute yourself and you will see that red slash through your camera so that you can visually see that you are muted at all times. Now, what's really cool is that you have these two arrows in your control. So you will see in this top space, the production itself. So whatever the host is putting out there, whether the host is flipping back and forth between this and that, you will see all of that. So you are seeing what the audience is seeing. However, let's say you're doing a production and you don't want to see all of the things going on. You just want to concentrate on your own camera. What you can do is flip the arrows and you will only see your camera in that big box. So that gives you a little bit of fine tuned control if you do want to not get distracted by everything going on in the production. The last thing that you can do is actually share your screen. So you can visualize a presentation or show off something on your website or whatever it is that's relevant to this interview that you're doing. And all you have to do is click share screen and that will give you some options. You can share the entire screen or you can share an application window or you can go into a Chrome tab. I'm actually going to share specifically a Chrome tab in this scenario. And then just a sneak peek at the producer side, I actually see the camera, the guest, as well as the shared screen. So I can operate these independently and actually go back and forth and change up what uh, the audience is seeing. At any time, you can hit that stop sharing button. And at any time, well, hopefully once the interview is done, you can just hang up and you will go bye-bye. There you go. You are all set and ready to have an amazing interview session. I hope that you have fun and enjoy the process. Remember, if you are doing it live, live, anything can happen. Just roll with it, have fun with it, enjoy the conversation with your host. And if you want to learn more about running an interview yourself for your own audience, we have all kinds of videos for you. We've got this playlist that you can check out and dive in. I have a full Ecamm training program for you. It's completely free with a 14 day free trial as well. So all those links are in the description and I will see you on the next video.